This is a walkthrough video of 7120 Ranji. We're located in Lake Sarasota, just off Mauna Loa. Ranji's a nice little neighborhood here, um, just uh, one street off Mauna Loa. This is a three bedroom, two bath pool home. Um, it's a wood construction. It's, um, it's got a nice little floor plan layout as I walk into this living space. We have carpet on part of it and tile on the rest. The tile flows through the kitchens and bathroom and down the hall there, and then the carpet, and there's some hardwood in one of the bedrooms. But, um, you know, it's nice because you have this uh, kind of living room area which opens onto the kitchen. The kitchen could use uh, some work on the ceiling, get rid of the plastic stuff, but the cabinets are decent. It's for mica countertops, white appliances. Uh, you got a little pantry out here. Uh, so you got you got plenty of storage. Uh, so this is where your washer and dryer and the water heater is um, in this room along with a little pantry. This goes out to a one-car garage, which is kind of full of stuff, but it is a small one-car garage. I just want to take a quick look at the panel. The AC looks to be new. Uh, this panel's... Uh, this panel might have a bit of an issue because I don't see a main disconnect. I'd have to take, take it apart and see... Uh, where the main disconnect is for that. Uh, it might be outside. And uh, it is pretty, it, that's a pretty full panel. The tile's in good condition. And, um, you know, it's a cute little, cute little kitchen with a the dining, dining area here. So we step down, which I almost fell twice. But <laughs> this, uh, this, this originally, I think, was a screen lanai and it was enclosed. So this makes a great little playroom. You got a little closet here for more storage. Um, you could take that out. You could paint this paneling. There's a lot of options here. Going out to the pool deck and the pool area here, you got a pretty good area for the uh, screen lanai. Um, I like that the cage is vaulted and a lot higher. It feels better. The pool looks to be in very good condition. I like the little tiles there, a little step down, a little seat area there. Uh, the pool surface looks good, as does the coping tile all the way around. The, um, that slider opens all the way up. Could add another window over here if you wanted to uh, let a little more light in to that um, enclosed area. Just want to take a quick look at the pool equipment. Just a filter and a pool pump. No heater. Um, but it would be easy enough to it would be easy enough to put a heater onto solar onto the roof. That's kind of what I would do. A little grill area here. The backyard is not much. It's mainly taken up by the pool area, but it's fenced all the way around. So if you do have a little doggy, I see they can get in and out over there. Um, walking back through. Walking back through, there's three bedrooms and two baths over here. So this is the guest bath. Cultured marble top, probably original vanity, small little tub. This is just a um, uh, fiberglass shower. You know, it just could use a little paint and touch up here. There is a laminate flooring in this bedroom. It's decent size, guest bedroom number one, probably 12 by 13. Could use a door on the linen closet here. Guest bedroom number two is in decent shape. Um, you know, these are aluminum windows, so we're not talking about Jaloese windows. They are aluminum windows, which are, which are decent. This room's a little bit bigger, maybe 11 by 14. And then this is the master. The master suite has a, has a closet, of course. It opens up on, you know, with a slider going out to the pool area. It does have a pretty tiny bathroom I'm squeezing in. It's like being on a cruise ship. And so, yeah, you can wash the upper, ha the lower half of your body. Um, again, we got a little aluminum window looking out to the pool area. Um, but, you know, it, it's a cozy little three bedroom, two bath, but you have this, you have a nice living space. You got a nice playroom over here. You got a garage. It's not bad. I like the pool area. I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International 941-366-0000, and as always, thanks for watching.